and unfortunately more staggering statistics here from the American Cancer Society. Almost 2 million people in the United States will be diagnosed with new cases of cancer just this year alone. Now the University of Cincinnati is researching tirelessly so that if you do find yourself with a diagnosis, your options for treatment possibly could be less toxic and maybe even more likely to survive. Within every single cell type. Inside Dr. Trisha Wise Draper's lab at the University of Cincinnati, you'll find more than cutting edge research. Uh, so I'm looking at the differences between HPV positive and HPV negative head and neck cells. Hope is kindled. The science is expanding and exploding right now. I have a patient that has glioblastoma that normally is, you know, five, two to five percent, five year survival. He's seven years out from a phase one trial. So those, those kind of stories are really important to be able to bring these into the field of cancer and get them to the next step. Take a recent trial out of Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City. Around a dozen patients with a type of rectal cancer were treated with a form of immunotherapy. The result, 100% remission in each patient. No one honestly had expected such a wonderful result. Dr. Devendra Sohal is an associate director of clinical research at UC's Cancer Center and an expert in immunotherapy. It basically stimulates the body's immune system and makes it fight the cancer. Dr. Wise Draper used it in a trial recently for head and neck cancer, leading to promising results. Immunotherapy and another form of treatment called cellular therapy are considered more targeted when attacking cancer, which could have less of an impact on your body as a whole. Every therapy could potentially have side effects, but the more targeted we get to the cancer, the less likely you get systemic effects. Do you see a future without something as toxic as chemotherapy or radiation? I sure hope so. Imagining a future like that is possible thanks to clinical trials funded not just federally, but by community events like Ride Cincinnati. Dr. Sohal will trade his lab coat for a bike helmet come race day. Every dollar raised comes to cancer research, and cancer research cannot be funded by only one or the other component. We need all the components. We can't uh, further cancer care without Ride Cincinnati. And it's not too late to sign up for Ride Cincinnati or if you would like to donate or support in any way you can, of course, you can visit WLWT.com.